a blessed Thursday morning, Grateful Gap. Thursday, wherever you are around the world. Um, hope everybody having a great day. It's filled with joy, um, many blessings, all those things of goodness. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Um, yeah, man, I'm just really feeling, you know, blessed every day. You know, every day we get opportunity to really get up, strive, rejoice in God's name, give Him, give Him thanks and praise. It's the best day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, man, for the opportunities. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my family, Lord. <sighs> Thank you. All right, y'all. This morning, um, daily verse derives from the, from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 36, and it states as follows. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to conventionists. And again, it's from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 36. Excuse me. <clears throat> and this morning, y'all, I just really want to be able to speak about, um, you know, touching on blessing and less fortunate. Um, how are we going forward with those type of situations? Um, are we looking to be active in, in our community? Um, really seeing change. You know, um, you know, you can you can help out with time. You can help out with money. You can help out with resources, whatever it is. Um, you know, what I mean, we could definitely. We could definitely, you know, get more involved, you know, with individuals who are less fortunate than ourselves. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not even just talking about, you know, us. If we, if, if people are out there are wealthy or, you know, rich or whatever it is, you know, what I mean, it, it takes, you know, normal, normal, nine to five working people too. Yeah, we might not have everything, but, you know, the things we have, you know, a lot of people don't have, and um, just being able to, again, you know, genuinely care one with your heart. And then go forward and doing the things that, you know, you felt like, you know, the way I look at it is, you know, I've been, you know, my family and I, we've been blessed so many times, man, just from all different angles, you know, from God, from people, from every, you know, from everywhere. And, you know, just be able to see that and experience that growing up and then, you know, see how my mother is with, you know, she's a big giver. She does a lot for people. You know what I mean? Just seeing those things play out in my life you know, help me to, to the point where I am now, you know, I, I have a big heart. I want to be able to, you know, make a lot of change, a positive change for a, a lot of individuals. Um, just even for simple stuff, you know, st stuff that some parents do struggle with, you know, with, you know, with financial means to be able to take care of their kids and stuff like that. And man, it's not, it's not easy on a parent. You know what I mean? Trust me, bro. First of all, when, when the world has already evolved to a point where, now when you have kids, you know, like I said, it's money. Money is everywhere. Money is what, you know, they say money make the world go around. You know I mean, but it does, but it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Just to a point where, you know, again, somebody, a man created a dollar value or whatever monetary value to be able to put on items that they seen that, oh, well, this is supply and demand. If if they don't have this and I have this, I, I can charge them for this. And if they, if they can't buy it, they can't have it. And this is where we are now. You know what I mean? People just grew to be selfish and greedy, you know, all these type of things that, you know, like I said, to, we are to the point where we are now. And, you know, just for y'all, just, just FYI, you know what I mean, for the people who don't understand and really are able to see God's work, literally look at everything you touch, anything you sit on, anything we, we anything that's tangible, it came from the earth. God created all this. Yeah, man, you know, found resources on the earth you know mine natural resources to make different things of what they are now again to what we see that's tangible but at the end of the day it comes from earth it didn't come from anywhere else no other planet that we use resource we we mine we don't do none of that everything comes from the planet earth god's earth you know what i'm saying so we really got to be able to look at that man and, and, and humble ourselves and not not put not you know not put emphasis or put a you know some type of judgment on individuals who are poor or you know who are out there panhandling and stuff like that and, and then even to those individuals man yeah when i when i pull up on them you know i don't give them money anymore um but um you know just just even in that sense you know like you know i see some veterans that be out you know they have homeless veteran signs and things like that and i stop and tell them man you know i'm a veteran hey brother you know the va offers you know home homes you know home and places for you know homeless veterans they 
you know, they supply resources for jobs and, you know, all these type of things, man, you know, that people really have to apply themselves to. And some people don't have a choice. Some people, you know, some people really, you know, still work nine to five jobs and try to come home, take care of their family. They don't have nothing because it's nothing. Like I said, the workforce, being a part of the workforce is nothing, man. You have to have your mindset to being a part of the money force. Money, you know, like I said, money is out there. You know what I mean? It's, it's what it was. It was. That's the that's the source of what we need today. You know what I mean? Well, we need God, but you know what I mean? Like the everyday value of things is based off money now. You know what I mean? So that's why. Yeah, that's 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 the only reason I say yeah. I want money. I want money again to be able to obtain the things that are going to be able to solidify wealth in my family going forward. You know, things that aren't changing. You know what I mean? Things that can't just be picked up and 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 moved, or things that you know what I mean? Things that aren't you know replaceable you know what i mean so um but yeah man just really you know how are we going forward with being you know a part of you know blessing the less fortunate man again it's not you know it's not always about money um you know time effort i remember this one time and i believe i spoke on this already on my podcast but you know my mother took my brother and i to um to feed up to feed the veterans one day i think it was like veterans day probably like 10 years ago yeah no yeah probably like yeah about 11 years ago and um it just always stuck with me man again you know one just seeing my mother you know be the selfless person she is um and i just think that's a that's an attest to the women she had in her life you know to be selfless for her and i mean i think it just reflected reflected off her one you know her mother and then the women who um who you know who adopted her into her life you know as she grew uh, because my mother was a young mother and um you know along with my brother's grandmother my grandma Helen, um, you know, my grandma Joe, my auntie Gracie, you know, all these ladies who, um, you know, my grandma Joe, um, <clears throat> I think I probably said it already, but it's okay. Just the women, again, you know, the women who really uh, embraced my mother and, you know, really was selfless, you know, even to her friend, you know, um, my, my cousin Shay, um, my cousin Sharice. You know, all those, you know, they were my aunties at one point because they, they had, you know, they were, my mother was brought into this family, you know, they, they, they saw so much in her to, to where they felt like, you know, she could be accepted and, and they could all strive to be great, and to, you know, to be great together. And it just, you know, again, it's an attest to how I was able to really analyze life, see different things, um, you know, understand that even when even when you do have a lot of money or you do, you are f- more fortunate than any other people. That don't mean you're better than anybody, you know, regardless of what it is, man. We, we got to really stay humble. Um, understand that, you know, yes, we did make choices to be able to put ourselves in different situations to, to be better. And, you know, and it's not always that simple and easy for individuals in their lives. So when you are able to come across somebody again, that's why I tell you it's so important to, you know, one, treat people with respect do our best by people um you know really continue to walk with god get you know give his love and grace to other individuals as we as we come across them and and just you know what i mean just inform them that you know yeah we know life isn't easy and you know you know yeah we live our own life but we're not we're not in this alone you know god created you know beings of beings and humans to be able to be you know part of one another and, and grow and really have a chain of you know, um, just togetherness and network and just really, you know, trying to be the best we can be, man. So, um, I challenge y'all today. So you see anybody out there who's again, you know, less fortunate, um, people asking for food, you know, need money for food, offer them, offer to get, you know, buy them some food. If people, you know, looking, you know, buy some things out of the store for them and their family, you know, offer to offer to purchase some of the things that they need for their family out the store you know whatever it may be man you know if we want to go to these communities and to our um you know lower house communities you really having money you know you know really give back to the community chant you know be a playground you know boost the education system make our own education system whatever it is man we just really have to again you know better ourselves but you know better better the individuals around us you know what i mean because we're we're only as strong as the weakest link you know what I mean? And, and that's just in a human cycle of, of, of life. You know what I mean? You know, we really have to, again, empower one another, build each other up, and be there for be there for the individuals who, who need help, man. You know, when God's going to put us in those spots and those, those situations. You know, one, he tests us to see 
you know, how are we going forward? You know, are we caring about, you know, the little money we have in our pocket to be able to, you know, bless somebody else who definitely doesn't have anything? Or are we going to be concerned, you know, with the image that we're getting from being associated with these individuals and stuff like that? Because if you're worried about those things, those are not godly. You know what I mean? God, he's going he's gonna to provide abundantly. Just like I said, take around, take a look at the world. Take a look at the phones you're using, all this stuff. This phone I'm using right now, you know what I mean? God created all this. You know what I mean? When he when he when he laid the earth and he created the earth all these years and thought you know, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Uh, you know, it was really again, he, he saw all this. He saw to where we are now. You know what I mean? People really people are really, you know, so caught up in the current time that we in that they don't really understand that the evolution of the world and re- how we how we really came. You know, people lived outside. For thousands of years, you know, what I mean, people just really started to build homes and and the, you know, and, and getting to the point where we are in the last, you know, five, six centuries. You know, what I mean, like really homes like, you know, material to build out of them except wood. You know, what I mean, of course, they built wood and stones and clay and stuff like that for the pyramids and all these things thousands, thousands of years ago, because, you know, that's what we that's what they knew. You know, what I mean, but they didn't have, you know, all the luxuries that we have now of to make our life simple. You know what I mean, but yeah, I ain't mean to get on here and rant too long this morning. But yes, man, just really let's 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 do our best to be able to get more involved in these less you know fortunate communities, um, less fortunate areas. You know, our own family and friends, all these type of things, man. Really support one another and just let's go forward and just be the best we can be. Um, so until next time, y'all really appreciate the love and support, man. Y'all stay focused out there. We all gotta stay focused. Um, let's continue to the build grow um you know get back to the drawing board re you know revise some things all this type of stuff you know what i mean it's a part of the daily journey and uh, i just love it man truly blessed thank you lord so much you know i mean just for, for being you know just for being who you are for just you know, being our the, the head of our lives um and just you know being as you know just being who you are powerful loving you know all these type of things just the best um but i appreciate the love and support again y'all um, continue to follow me on grateful gab podcast at gmail.com turn my twitter up at grateful underscore gab i will be getting back to my grateful gab facebook page i just i have to get my information for that again um i kind of just locked out of it and forgot the stuff because nobody was really following it and i had stopped pushing it out there um but i see i get a lot of notifications that i have some people who want to be friends on my, on my facebook page i guess that that um facebook page so Again, I will be going forward to getting that back opened up and, um, you know, probably, you know, getting that getting that information back on here as well. But send me some emails, send me some feedback, man. GratefulGodPodcast at gmail.com. Really, really would appreciate it, man. Until next time, y'all. Appreciate the love and support. Y'all be easy out there. Until next time. Peace.